Hey, um, little pickup video here. Uh, after work, I headed over to Walmart, um, and I'll admit I specifically went there to buy some cookies. I had this Jones in for some cookies, so I, uh, yeah, <laughs> went there to pick up some cookies, and um, they were delicious. I still have some left. I didn't eat them all. But, uh, as usual, I headed over to the um, video games and, and movies and such, and uh, lo and behold, they have their summer sale uh, stuff out, and I picked up um, Paul on Blu-ray. Haven't seen it yet, so it was only $7, so I figured, you know what, 7 bucks, I'm willing to uh, throw $7 at uh, a movie. Um, I like, uh, you know, Simon Pegg's awesome, so... Uh, I figured, why not? Can't go wrong there. Um, and then I picked up two DVDs, um, which were not part of the summer sale, but actually part of the new releases um, just this week. Um, they are not very well known, and as such, it's kind of the reason why I picked them up. Um, the likelihood that they'll get a Blu-ray release is very slim. Um, they're low budget and they're old um, they're part of the Moonbeam films catalog which is an offshoot of Full Moon Entertainment um, and it's their children's series so these are some old films and the first one I grabbed was Spooky Town which is kind of a horror western where kids uh, um, who can't seem to find their parents end up running into a, you know, weird stuff, you know, so it's uh, fantasy horror western stuff going on uh, for kids. So I picked that up and the other one was a also a Moonbeam uh, films and that's uh, The Tiny Kingdom and the thing about this film is basically they find this little kingdom under I think it's underneath their kitchen sink or something like that and then um, they eventually get sucked into the world and have to um, keep I think there's two two groups and they're gonna go to war or something like that and they have to stop the war you know kids fair type stuff um, so yeah two Moonbeam um, films. I've, I think th I have one other one that uh, I picked up. I think it was last week or the week before. Um, and I think there are other uh, films that they've put out under this um, group, the Moonbeam films, instead of Full Moon. Um, what? <laughs> you know what? I'll point this out. Um, if you know, do, if you. Full Moon um, and Charles Band, the the guy behind it, they were the guys who did um, Puppet Master films, uh, Trancers, uh, Subspecies. Those are the three big ones. Um, they've since done um, things like uh, Killjoy, um, Ginger Dead Man, and uh, Evil Bong. I'm actually an executive producer on Evil Bong Three. Um, go figure. Um, but these are, these, are, these are kids' films. These are stuff they specifically did for the home video market towards kids. Um, the biggest releases from this would probably be Pre-Hysteria, um, if you were at all in the video stores back then. But here's what you get inside. This little here is a little ad insert for Full Moon. And they're... Grindhouse. Yeah, these movies have a lot of violence and horror and nudity and and swearing and they're definitely not for kids. So I find I I I, I understand Full Moon and and Moonbeam and they're you know like essentially you know same company but when you're selling a film to kids, advertising adult material inside it just seems weird and pretty wrong if you think about it. It'd be like 
buying your copy of Lion King and opening it up and finding like I don't know um, Resident Evil ad inside or um, something crazy like uh, bad taste <laughs> like <laughs> or or you know like uh, like a Franco film or something you know something that Divine has been in um, God forbid you had had that in there, and your your kids are like picking it up and going, "Hey, I want to see that movie," and they're you're just looking at it going, "Why is this in here? Why do my kids now know about uh, whatever?" Um, so Charles, just a word to the wise: kids' films, not kids' films. Don't go together. That's just my, you know, that's my opinion. I mean, maybe he's he's figuring that the people he's expecting to buy those are people like me who who grew up on them and are into the full moon stuff. Um, I don't know, but uh, they were in the kids section right next to you know like the latest Power Rangers DVD and and a bunch of stuff from early learning DVDs and cartoons and stuff. Um, yeah, so... Might want to think about that next time. Maybe do up a, like a, a Moonbeam ad of some sort and stick it in there. You know, I'm just saying, if you want to include something. But, anyways. <laughs> I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Till next time.